Rainbow Dash! Edward the Blue Engine was getting old, his bearings were getting worn, and he clanked as he puffed along. One day, he and Applejack were taking a train of empty cattle cars to pick up some pigs at a market town. The sun shined, and birds sang, but they were heading for trouble. Come on, come on, come on! Uh -oh, ooh, ah! Edward puffed and clanked while the cars rattled and screamed. Some gals were grazing in a field nearby. They weren't used to trains. The noise and smoke disturbed and scared them. Soon they finally had had enough. As they clanked by, they broke through the fence and charged toward the train. Then suddenly, a coupling snapped, and the last car with the brake van were accidentally left behind. Edward felt the jerk but didn't take much notice. He and Applejack were used to cattle cars. Bother those trucks. Why can't they come quietly? Is he continued on to Napford Station before he or Applejack realized what had happened. When Gordon and Henry heard about the accident, they laughed and boasted. Fancy allowing cows to break his train! They wouldn't dare do that to us! We'd show them! Edward pretended not to mind. But Toby and the other ponies were very cross. Don't you mind them, Sugar Cube. Them thick smokes think they're big and tough for anything. They're only teasing because this type of accident don't happen a lot. You couldn't help it, Edward. They've never met cows. I have and I know the trouble they are. Exactly! Even the cows back in Equestria don't behave like that at all. Unless you disrespect them. But the ones here are plain stubborn. And I suppose you had an experience with disrespecting cows yourself? Yeah, I made a big mistake pulling a prank on one of them one time. I was and I was left with a number of bruises afterwards. I've been in Eddie's hoop, I mean wheels, and Gordon wouldn't stop teasing me about it for weeks. I see. <laughs> A few days later, Gordon rushed through Wellsworth Station. Mind the cows! <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry! Don't make such a fuss! Don't make such a fuss! A long stretch of track lied ahead just before Gordon's hill. In the distance was a bridge spanning across the Mona River. It seemed to Gordon that there was something on the bridge. Rainbow Dash thought so too. Whoa there, Big G! Pooh! It's only a cow! Shoo! Shoo! As they moved slowly towards the bridge, the cow wouldn't shoo. She was looking for her calf and was feeling lonely. No. Rainbow Dash, the conductor, tried to send her away, but she refused to leave. Then, Henry arrived with another passenger train in the other direction. What's this? A cow? 
I'll soon settle her. Be off, be off. No. Then Henry backed away cautiously. I don't want to hurt her. Back at Marin Station, Fluttershy told the station master about the cow and warned the signalman that the main line was blocked. That must be Bluebell. Her calf is here, ready to go to market. We'll take her along. After carefully loading the calf, Percy and Pinkie Pie took it to the Mona River Bridge so its mother would not be worried. When they got there, Bluebell was very delighted to see her baby again. Then the porter led them back home carefully. Not a word. Keep it dark. They felt very silly. But because Percy and Piggy were not good at keeping secrets for long, the story soon spread across the island. Well, well, well. Two big engines afraid of one cow. <laughs> yeah, what are the odds of that? But still, it's the funniest news I ever heard all day. <laughs> afraid? Rubbish. We didn't want the poor thing to hurt herself by running against us. We stopped so as not to excite her. You see what I mean, my dear Edward? Yes, Gordon. Okay, Big G, we hear ya. For once, we'll give you and Henry a break seeing you have common sense. And it serves you right for laughing at me and Henry. Gordon felt somehow that Edward and Applejack saw only too well. Don't you?